Today we're gonna to take a look at two different ways that we can download our blocks as an image from MIT App Inventor. The first way we're gonna look at is how to download the entire code or all of your blocks at one time. In order to do this, you'll need to find an empty space on the mat, right click, and then from there select download blocks as an image. Once you select that, your file will be downloaded into either your download folder or into your files app on a Chromebook. Now that you have your file or your blocks downloaded, you can simply go ahead and click on that file to open it up, or if you would like to insert it into a Google Doc, you can simply go to that Google Doc and take your file and insert it in. From there, you can use your handles to size it accordingly. Now, what happens if we only want one of the blocks? In order to do that, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at just selecting one of the event handlers. When you select that event handler and right click, you now have another option to download just the block as a PNG file. So if we go ahead and select download blocks as a PNG, what will happen is it will only download the block that is highlighted. So now if we go back into our Google Doc and we find our slide, we can pull that file in, but this time it's only that one block. So if you need multiple blocks added, you can simply go back into MIT App Inventor, select an additional block, right click, download the block as a PNG, and then go ahead back in and insert that in. This gives you a little bit more control of what you would like to download from your MIT App Inventor. 